Podcast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, we got through those morning showers and thunderstorms. A couple that, again, woke, woke a lot of people up, obviously, early this morning. But now, really, again, it's a quiet pattern out there. Tonight, the chance for a little bit of fog. We shouldn't have to worry about much. Moving into your Sunday, as the day progresses, the clouds move in, and then we'll look for the possibility of a couple showers and thunderstorms, and potentially some of those could be strong, even severe, as we do sit under a marginal risk. Current visibility is fine out there, but it's dropping near the coastline. As you see today, we hit 68 out there, and that's a little bit closer to where we should be sitting, mid-60s out there. However, again, moving forward, that cold air starts to slide in. You can see how temperatures are rapidly dropping from 25 and Oma 22 in Denver versus our 62 right now here in the capital area. So here's the story 62 out there, a little bit of cloud cover out there right now. It's a pretty calm picture across the board. You see temperatures across the area. A lot of areas have already dropped into the 50s. And yes, tonight we are talking lower 50s, possibly upper 40s by the time you wake up early tomorrow morning. And here's the long term again. Once we get through that next little batch of showers, it looks like temperatures are going to be around near average for much of of next week. However, moving into next weekend. So again, we're talking the next six to 10 days. It looks like we got a little bit of a warm up moving into Christmas week. So here's the story again. We could start out with some early sunshine, not anticipated to last long because clouds quickly return by the afternoon hours with the possibility of some rain. And I believe the majority of the thunderstorms really are going to hold off until tomorrow night. First of all, again, that front has driven through, but we've got another system moving in tomorrow night, and that's what's going to bring us the possibility of some strong thunderstorms. Notice kind of cutting the viewing area in half. Everything on the western side of the Mississippi now sitting underneath a marginal risk. That's one out of five. A few isolated storms could be strong, and I think the greatest threats are heavy rain, maybe some gusty winds and a little bit of lightning, but you still can't rule out the possibility of an isolated tornado. Doppler radar, it is dry at this point. Future cast, as you see here, moving forward and around the time we get to tomorrow morning, early clearing clouds built by the afternoon, still mainly dry. By the time we get to about 9, maybe 10 o'clock at night, look for a line of thunderstorms out there, and it should quickly race through. By the time we get into Monday, we'll get back to some sunshine, and we'll be seeing much cooler temperatures across the region, and things look pretty calm for a good majority of next week. And just showing you rain estimates right now, anticipate, not anticipated to be much, maybe about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch. I do see some areas maybe getting up to about an inch, but again, that's in localized pockets. So a couple storms tomorrow. Otherwise, we're going Dry Monday, mainly dry for much of Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday night, the possibility of some showers, but otherwise a dry pattern as we approach the weekend. So tonight we're dry, a little bit of cloud cover. Look for some patchy fog out there with overnight lows in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Tomorrow highs only reaching the 60s out there. Clouds increase. Look for some late day showers and thunderstorms. Remember that we have partnered up with iHeartRadio Baton Rouge to get your weather on the go. And here's that seven day picture for you. We've got 69 tomorrow. Look for some storms late. Most of the storms arrive overnight, probably between 7, 8, maybe even up to about 10 o'clock at night. And then once that front dries through by Monday, 55 out there with an overnight low of 39, 58 heading into Tuesday. Look for more showers overnight early Wednesday, otherwise clearing with highs in the 50s again by Thursday. Overnight lows dropping back into the mid 30s, and then we start to warm up as soon as we head into the weekend. We'll be right back.